Well, hello, and today in this beautiful, peaceful little country cottage garden, you find me in the heart of Cologne Village. And behind me here, I have this absolutely stunning, straight out of a home interiors book, three to four bedroom cottage. Now this one is quirky beyond belief. It's got beautiful little rooms that are tucked away up stairways. It's got fantastic features. You've got sash windows, you've got window seats, but it's all been finished off to a really high standard and gives you that real lovely blend of modern and old in one place. Now I'm sitting here in the patio because all I need now is a little glass of gin because to my right we have a fantastic gin shed as well. What more could you want? Let's take you inside and show you a little bit more. Just at the top of the lane Ogborn in Cologne, just want to show you that we've got a little quiet lane going down there. It doesn't really go anywhere other than, than to other houses, so no passing traffic as such. And then we're just sitting here on the corner of the high street here in Cologne Village, just with Silver Street there panning off to the right. And if I pan back that direction, you can just see the church down there in the distance, and that's where the shops are. So let's take you inside this absolutely beautiful cottage in Ogborn in Cologne and show you what it's got to offer because this is your absolute dream cottage. Now as you come through over the threshold the first thing you notice is this fantastic little external porchway which has got lovely height to it, exposed stonework, really beautiful tiled floor and lots of spaces either side for storing shoes, sitting down, taking them off and popping your coats over to the right. Now through the main door into the main part of the house and we open into this fabulous country style kitchen. Now straight away you can see we've got these beautiful stripped wood doors in most of the areas and a lovely big kitchen here with a fantastic sized breakfast bar in the middle. Now it's obviously been refitted, it's in really lovely condition. You've got this great Belfast sink, a lovely quartz worktop, really nice dark doors with the inbuilt um, dishwasher and washing machine tucked behind the cupboards there and then we've got the open stairs up to the first floor which we'll show you in a moment but really good size island unit like I say really good you can get four seats around there as you can see and lots of extra storage in there too so what a fabulous space to start with now that's taking you through this door into the character part of this absolutely beautiful living room what a great seating space you've got little window seats absolutely spot on shutters on on the window and then this beautiful room with the oak beams the lovely strip wood floors and if I just pan back and come into this corner you'll see that we've got this really lovely fireplace with the perfect big wood burner in there as well that's going to send out so much heat and keep this lovely and tasty warm. Now there are some really lovely features about this property and one of those is this lovely stained glass window feature on the living room as well. So a really fantastic space. I'm just gonna twiddle around and show you from this angle as well. So what a fantastic sitting room, your perfect cottagey country style. Now downstairs, we have some slightly quirky parts, as I said, and when we were outside and straight away, this is a fantastic little study space, currently used as a study, as you can see, they've just gone out for lunch at the moment. And we've got the double doors through into the garden, but then we've also, as a little extra surprise, got stairs down into a basement room. So now this is where I fall over, trying to take you into and down here. And look what just opens out in front of you. This fantastic kind of cellar room, basement room. It's got a lovely cool feel about it, but it has been tanked, it is all tight. It has got the radiator down here as well. Perfect as a hobby room, a gym, a bedroom. This is kind of covering all three at the moment, the way it's furnished. But you could also have this as a really great office space or even just a really great place to store the wine, but it is, that would seem a bit of a waste really. So we've got these lovely curved stairs that take you back up and then through to the little kind of landing where the office area is, and then back through into this fabulous sitting room. I just, such a cozy space and such a beautiful, beautifully presented property. Now all the way through the kitchen, we're then gonna take you upstairs now and take you up to see the bedrooms from here. Having got to the top of the first set of stairs, 
we have on our left a really lovely main bedroom. Now, there's actually two really good sized bedrooms and this isn't the biggest. In fact, this is possibly the smallest of the three, but you have got, as you can just see on the other end there, a washroom, which is your ensuite shower room there. You've got all the built-in wardrobes, so making fantastic use of space here. And then a really lovely window seat with the secondary glazing and overlooking the garden to the front. Now, I'm just gonna give you a quick, quick peek into the shower room because it's much bigger than you would expect. Really nice size shower cubicle. Lovely as you would expect, white suite these days. And little cupboard storage over to the left as well. So this is the first of three bedrooms set over the three levels, but there's even more quirkiness to come. So just gonna take you back round. As you can see on the right there, we've got a cupboard, lots of space under the stairs there that take you up to the top floor. And then this really lovely landing area. Again, really nice big window seat here. I'm gonna take you through to the second of the bedrooms on this level. And we have this absolutely gorgeous, beautiful cottagey country room. What a lovely space here. Really nice size. You've got plenty of room for wardrobes over on the right hand side. We've got a king size bed in here. No trouble at all. You could easily get a super king in if you really wanted to. Nice little window seats again. One of my favorite things as you might have just gathered. And then I'm just gonna pan back because this unusually has a mezzanine level. So it's very hard to show you this from here really, but just to show you, there's a quite a decent height up there. There's felixes up there, there's wood flooring up there, and there's also a radiator. Now currently, the current owners just mainly use it for storage, and there is a loft ladder that just pulls down that you can just about see on the right. But I would imagine if my grandson had this room, he would absolutely love that area. He'd be up there playing and having his train sets or his Lego and all that sort of stuff being built up there. So a fantastic fantastic second bedroom option. Now coming back round to the left, I'm going to turn into the most beautiful of bathrooms. It's a word I'm using quite a lot today, I'm quite conscious of that, but you can see why. What a fantastic room. Now this has got the original strip floorboards in here, roll top bath as you can see, another window seat of course with the sash windows and beautiful old fire, bath stone fireplace in there as well. You've even got the bidet as well as the toilet, but it just makes for such a beautiful, classic country style bathroom. Absolute beauty. Now, last but not least, we've got some little narrow stairs here, which take you up to the top floor. So let's show you what's up there. So as we come to the top of these little windy stairs, there is this absolutely superb loft room, loft bedroom. Again, really well thought through with beautiful built-in storage, making the best use of space. We've got a nice double bed in here. Now you might wonder what these um, raised sections are. These are actually the old beams that have been covered with carpet just for practicality. But just look at that stunning beam that was put in, gosh, the 400 years or so ago when this cottage was built. What an absolute beauty to finish on. So let's take you outside now and show you a little bit more of the garden. We're coming back through these beautiful old doors and out into a really beautiful sunny garden. Now, this might all be technically set at the front of the property, but because you're so private down here, it really doesn't feel like you are. You don't feel particularly overlooked. And you've actually got a really nice sized cottage garden with lots of space. So I'm just gonna start at the front here, just coming all the way back, just to show you that we've got this really large patio area here, framed by beautiful cottage plants and shrubs, and then really nice space, just taking you around to where the front door is and then also as it winds back through now originally this pathway was shared and everyone had right of access over it but this has now been purchased by the owner so this section is now all completely owned by the property nice little seating area here just by the gin shed which I'm going to show you in a moment and then round just tucks down you can see the windows down to that lovely downstairs room really quirky 
and then those doors back through to where the study was. Obviously this is next doors looking over but this is quite common for a cottage and hence why a lot of the seating area is down that end. But what a fabulous space, lovely that the sun's come out for us today as well. Now I'm going to take you just to show you inside this really little extra bonus shed here. Now it's more than just a shed, this is a proper shed. So we've got this lovely little latch door and we take you through and this is where we have a fantastic space for working out of course, for storing things obviously, but even better as a gin bar. I mean just look at that. Why wouldn't you want one of these in your little garden shed? So you've basically got this in here with the fridges and everything. So you've got power and light out here. This could make a perfect office if you really wanted it to be. But then why not have it a gin shed or a nice little bar? Because you're straight out onto your patio area where you can entertain and everybody just enjoys the space. So with such a beautiful cottage, both inside and out, why would you not want to have your own gin bar, have this stunning garden and live in the heart of, the of Cologne village itself? What an absolute stunner and a real treat and real rarity. So if you're looking for a property in this stunning area, then please do get in touch as soon as possible and we'll organise a viewing as soon as we can.